Hey everybody, welcome to this video with this screen that probably will show my face a few When it comes to making a Windows 11 USB for an unsupported machine, things have actually gotten pretty easy. Rufus, uh, so I have been informed, has uh, actually just stuff built in for uh, essentially just making an unsupported Windows 11 USB. So, you, you know, you use Rufus and just clicking MBR and no TPM secure boot. You just got to click no TPM secure boot and MBR and I believe I don't know why it's called this I'll just call it Windows 11 but uh, I believe from there you can just essentially flash flash this image onto the onto the USB stick now I've saved you the trouble watching me create this entire thing because of about a 15 minute process to copy over the entire ISO to this thing but um, we in theory should have a Windows 11 USB that should work uh, hopefully with MBR as well I, I don't really know how that goes but that, that's like my one concern for this machine but we're gonna just plug in this USB and see what happens mash F12 for that beautiful boot menu there we go now we're not frozen up and let's boot off of the USB Ah, that is kind of cursed but <laughs> Alright, looks like we booted into the setup, and uh, let's just click next, install now, accept that, and let's do the custom install. Now, uh, right, so I originally had Gen 2 on this machine, or an attempt at Gen 2, <laughs> and... Uh, Windows is not having a fun time with this, but we're going to delete all these partitions, because... Uh, and now, let's just click Next. Wow, it didn't stop me or anything, so... Ah, here we are in the tumor we call the out-of-box experience. Okay, so, uh, we're going to go through Windows 11 setup, and I'm not going to show this because I'm pretty sure most people here have seen a standard Windows setup. It's going to be exactly like that. So, I've finished setting up this machine, and... Uh, I, f I finished setting setting it up something's not right <sighs> of course boy you thought you could get away from it this time huh no it's tradition right so I have decided that not every machine that I use must be tested with game and that is because Computers are more than just things to play games. They're work, de they're work devices, they're entertainment machines, and they can do so much. And recently, I've sort of realized that I have all these old machines, and they all have a purpose. And that's because they're all so amazing. Anybody who discards these machines, something like this, you know, 13 years old, probably doesn't even need a new machine. They probably just discarded it because it was slow, and... No, it just needed a bit of love. You just didn't give it that love. So I want to prove on this channel that even the oldest of computers can still be used for something. Now, of course, if you're using something like, you know, a Pentium 4 machine, yeah, I can kind of understand why you'd want an upgrade. There are some things that legitimately just can't be done on the old machines. But things like this, you can watch YouTube. You can message your friends on Discord. And I'm here to prove that. Though I haven't actually seen the results of using these apps. So let's just see... Let's just pull up a generic YouTube video. Let's just see how it does. Now, I have a plugin here called... <coughs> Let's see here. Where is it? Ah, uh, yeah. H264 by Enhance. 
And this is something that essentially just makes it so it's a bit easier to play YouTube videos. And here is 1080p video you will about to see. It's running at 360p. Let's let's bump that up. Now let's just see how it goes. And look, it's working semi-fine. We're dropping some frames, but... Eh. But if you really want, it's not a huge issue to drop it down to 720p, because on a screen like this, you're not going to be able to notice that it's running at 720p. It's, it's It looks about the same, really. And it's still dropping quite a few frames. Well, that's not to worry. If you're okay to sacrifice it, there's something an enhanced H.264 file, block 60 FPS video, and once you reload the page, you'll be running in 30 FPS. Now let's put this at 1080p again. Oh, I guess it turned off 1080p, whatever. Um, and now, zero frames dropped. Now, of course, there are trade-offs, and it's not great, but if you really want to, you can run 1080p or 720p 30fps video, no problem. Look at that, it's running pretty much perfectly. Or, let's say you want to use Discord now, I'm probably going to blur out some things here just because I don't want random people messaging me, or the people who I'm here with, but let's say you want to message a friend, you know. This is obviously not a DM, this is just a storage server. Look at that. There it is. Boom. I know this is a short video, but it's to prove a point. And yeah, this works great. This works fine, at least to my standards. And honestly, if this doesn't work to your standards, I, I understand that, you know? But this computer right here, overall, is still usable. So I don't understand why people throw these out. You're wasting money and resources on the planet by buying a new machine when your old one was working just fine. Anyways, so, uh, this was definitely a bit weirder of a video. It's kind of on the shorter side. <coughs> doesn't really have a direction. doesn't focus on much, except for one thing, and that is that old computers still have it. And I want you to consider, before buying a new laptop or desktop, I want you to consider do I really need this? Or, what I'm, or is what I'm doing on here working fine? Does this computer just need love? That's the point. Don't create e-waste. Help stop it. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.